Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Inkscape to create simple stick animals. After the stick men in the last video, these ones work with the same principle, basic shapes, the pen tool, the node tool and tapered strokes. Let's start with the circle. To keep it a circle and not turn into ellipse, hold the control key while you scale your circle. I create a duplicate that will be the eye and another duplicate that I elongate for the body. I turn the head and the body into paths. That way I can use the node tool to turn the head into a beak shape and shape the body a little bit to have more of a chest and then a little bit of a tail. You might have noticed I like to use shapes rather than the pen tool to create new elements. I just find it a faster way to do it. For the legs though, it's easier to use the pen tool. I give it a thicker stroke and turn the caps to round it. I use the note tool to modify the creations afterwards. It's easier than trying to get the perfect line with the pen tool. For the wings, I use the pen tool again and create a straight line. I give it a thicker stroke and again the rounded caps. The color goes to white to be consistent with the rest of the shape. I curve that with the node tool, duplicate it and just move one of the nodes. That way I can quickly and easily create the wing. I group the lines of the wing, duplicate it and flip it horizontally. I bring the head and the eye back to the front using the page up key. I create another line with the pen tool for the tail feathers. I copy the line from one of the wings and paste the style to this new line to give me the same width, color and caps as I used in the wings. To shape the tail feathers I use the pass effect taper stroke. I can thinen the line at either end. I have little pink control nodes that I can move along the length of the node to define how far the thinning goes. I duplicate the tail feather and rotate it. Applying a pass effect also overrides the stroke width. It's defined inside the pass panel now rather than in the stroke panel. I group the tail feathers for easier handling and position them. With all the elements in place, it's time to position them and pose the bird. Let's take the angry crow, put it to the side, duplicate everything and turn it into a flying version of the bird. Working with vectors makes it so easy to adjust and modify your design once the pieces are in place. I reposition the head, flip the feathers, remove the legs and extend the tail feathers a little bit. Take a duplicate of the wings, place it behind and squash it a little bit. That's too much, a little less. 
there we go and if I change the opacity of that part we have the first flying pose of the crow for the second pose I duplicate everything flip the wings reposition the tail feathers and the head and that's the second pose done it is a lot of fun to play around with basic shapes, strokes, the pen tool, the no tool and the tapered stroke. Give it a try, just keep things simple. I had a lot of fun playing with this. This is my take on a panther and a gibbon using the same techniques. Simple shapes, little deformation with the no tool and strokes for the limbs. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like and I will see you again soon.